Greetings. <laughs> Planet Earth. <laughs> the Kaffir Zone of Ethiopia. Interesting. I went to <laughs> the <laughs> Kaffir Zone. Hey there, welcome again to Sidekick Coffee. My name is Tom. My name is Reese. And we are here to help you along your home coffee journey. Mm -hmm. uh, we love coffee uh, and we think you should also be able to have great tasting coffee for a reasonable price in your own home. So mm -hmm. uh, we're here to do product reviews, coffee reviews, uh, and help you out in every way we can. Well, today um, we have a coffee from Stella. Now, Stella is a uh, coffee roastery um, that I stumbled uh, upon through a coffee subscription called 3000 Thieves. Um, I've been with them for the last few months and I've been really impressed with how they've been able to showcase um, different independent Australian coffee roasters that yes. I wouldn't have been able to find out about otherwise. So cool. this coffee is um, from a roaster called uh, Tim Varney and uh, yeah, his, his company is called Stella. And this is the uh, Tiga and Tula. Who are Tiga and Tula? That's the real question. Tiga and, <laughs> uh, Tiga and Tula, Tula, I believe, are two 500 acre farms that are found oh. in Ethiopia. Not who, but what? Yes, what. Okay. And okay. so uh, this coffee uh, comes from, from those two farms. Bongo Kibo Kaffa. Yep. What is Kaffa? I believe Kaffa is an area um, in Ethiopia. And okay. um, I, I believe like, some of the original like coffee like places are, are situated around Kaffa. The coffee places. I I hope. Please tell me if I'm wrong down below in the comments. Uh, let's try some coffee. Uh, we got some Tiga and Tula by Stella. Um, I do remember reading on the Three Thousand Thieves um, blog that Tim he roasts this coffee with nostalgia in mind. So his uh, his idea is to uh, bring back fond memories of I'm not sure what, but nostalgia. let's hope we get some nostalgia out of Tiga and Tula. I'm just rambling now. Let's try some let's coffee. Let's get it. All right, so here we have some Tigra and Tula by Stella. Um, let me just do a quick smell test first of the beans. Ooh, yes, good idea. Who's that before? Good. It always just smells good. I'm not gonna lie. If you open up a bag of coffee and it doesn't smell good, something's wrong. Something's I would wrong. not. I would not brew that coffee. Mmm. It's got a nice deep, like a deep, rich coffee. It scent. is super rich. Yeah. Mmm. I like that. It's um, it's very delicious. Like Reese said. I don't think I've ever opened a bag of coffee and been disappointed. I have been. Coffee just smells <laughs> so good. No, uh, well. Like, I could open up a, 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 a um, jar of Makona and be stoked. That's how basic I am. We're not here for Makona today. We're here for Stella, Tigra and Tula. Tigre Let's and give Tula. it a taste. Um, yeah. Can so you tell us, the, yeah, what are we expecting? Here uh, are the notes. Candied fruit, ripe okay. nectarine with a soft, creamy mouthfeel, clean aromatics, Supported by soft caramel sweetness with luscious finish. I love that description. It was very, it's, very. It was very impressive. Experience. I'm not sure what any of it really means for my taste buds in my mouth, but let's see. We'll see. Cool. All right. Cheers. Candied fruit, ripe nectar, and cheers. Don't forget to slurp. Slop? Slurp. 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 Mm. That was a deep slurp. That was a deep slurp. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. That's good. It's bold. That's it a nice, bold. strong coffee um, flavor. I can definitely, I've definitely got the candied fruits 
Yeah, yeah. Right in the front of my mouth. It's fruity. But it's right when he says it's a soft mouth feel. My, my mouth is feeling very... Yeah, what do you mean by soft mouth feel? Because that doesn't... It's not like a punchy, like, hit you and, like, make your taste buds go... Ah, like okay. a sour thing. It's like, not yeah, since... Yeah. If you, my, my mouth feels very uh, soft and silky. Those fruity flavours really linger for me in, mm. in the back of my mouth. Yeah, he says at the end luscious finish, and I can definitely get a very luscious. Maybe that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Um, caramel sweetness. Let me let me see. Let me slurp again. Slurp. Right at the front, there's the can. There's the uh, candied fruit. Candy fruit. Yeah. I haven't got much nectarine. No, nah, no caramel for me. I reckon once it cools off. Cools down a little bit. It's true. It is sweet. It's not a like a bitter. For something that that smells super bold, yeah, it's actually very sweet. It is. Like I wouldn't. It's not floral, but it's no, it's no, no. fruity. It's and you, you know the aromatics the 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 description says it does help with that sweetness. Actually, I think yeah. that's probably where the nectarine is. Like it actually doesn't taste like it smells out of the bag no. to me. Yeah, interesting. I think this is really cool. I, I, I really like this. I like it. I think it's kind of unique. It is unique. Yeah. I don't know if I feel nostalgia, but also I haven't been in the coffee game for that long. Um, I believe well, Tim has over 15, he, many years experience okay. in coffee. I'm really excited to see what him and, and Stella Coffee does yeah. in yeah. the future. I think they have a few uh, different roasts at the moment mm. and blends, but... This is the only one we have so far. Again, 3,000 Thieves. 3,000 Thieves. Um, we'll have a link down in the description at the bottom. Uh, they're really good. 25 bucks a month? Yeah, I think it was. A, it's about yeah. 25 bucks, which is like reasonable when you think of, um, A, they're going to be supporting uh, local, local small Australian roasters, yeah. small roasters, yeah. and they're shipping it to you. Like, mm. you put extra 10 bucks on, like, a 15 buck bag yeah. i don't know this this could even be more you know um yeah, especially sure. a specialty coffee and at home coffee gets uh starts to get bigger yeah starts to to boom mm. a little bit more yeah. these these more prices are going to get up yeah. yeah and again there's lots of different things that can affect the price of the coffee the grade yeah. um for 25 bucks you're getting a coffee delivered to your house each yeah. month i think that's that's really cool yeah for sure definitely hit up three thousand thieves um they're great this coffee is really good uh can you buy this? Where can you buy this? I don't know. I couldn't find their website. Yeah, through the through the subscription, three thousand thieves at the moment. Um, if we find any more information on that, we will let you know. But great coffee. Uh, I'm yeah. pretty happy with it. Really happy. Um, we are looking at doing. We're trying to broaden our reviews to all different roasteries all over Australia, or even international as well oh i did i did mean to mention i believe these are out of melbourne oh uh, yes melbourne melbourne great melbourne has some great coffee some great roses in melbourne um but yeah if you do have any ideas of any copies you want us to review um and share a little information on mm -hmm. and try and slurp for you guys um <laughs> definitely leave a comment down below this video and we can we can try out some of those there we want to smash through these so we can we can review as much coffee yeah. as we can we love coffee so the more coffee, the better, really. Absolutely. Cool. Awesome. That's all from us. See you next time. Thanks, guys.